All right, so I just dropped this lyric video that I made uh, a couple of days ago. And while it's still fresh on my mind, I wanted to do like a little project breakdown uh, for nothing else for future me to look back on and kind of remember some of these techniques that I implemented because video isn't something I'm typically doing too often. Although like now it's, it's getting added to my workflow as I complete songs and whatnot. But yeah, like this editing, this actually took a few days for me, um, mostly because this isn't really what I do. But uh, I guess anytime I get to flex any like creative muscles, that's always really fun for me. But yeah, this thing hit a bunch of different stages before I got to this final cut timeline. Um, as far as like the steps of what I took to get this thing done, I one had to like review and organize all the footage, which I did in this cut page here. It's like I've got all the footage for myself, for Relier, for Ross and um, B-roll that was shot here. And I, I guess as soon as I realized that I had enough footage to basically make a music video and also being inspired by the idea of a few friends hitting me up, asking me about the lyrics for the song um that just gave me a project idea to make this a lyric video and so yeah after having reviewed and organized all the footage i slapped everything onto the timeline and i guess one of the first things i did was go through and actually write out each of the lyrics Days just start to blur, then fade away. right that's what's happening over here and this was literally just going in here and putting in a i think it's in the effects tab yeah in here um titles and then i used text plus because i thought i was going to use some animated functionality i didn't end up doing that pretty much for me all i ended up doing was just lining up the lyrics with whenever i was saying it in the song like this and then just cut it off and i pretty much did that for each line of the song Feels like something's always in the way. and yeah i don't think there was anything fancy that i did with the inspector here in davinci resolve um set of font that i like um which i mean i use helvetica for basically everything um yeah and then i chose like yellow as the color because that's usually what i see in like movies or just i guess a lot of vintage subtitles kind of have that there so it's like yeah that was step one in terms of how do i go about making this lyric video okay we'll actually write out each of the lyrics and sync it up with the song and then came the really not so fun like just time consuming part of actually cutting through and like slicing up each of the clips and throwing it onto the timeline and like you know obviously these are the clips that i landed on one of the things that i wanted to know that was really helpful for me is going in and actually color coding everything so just even looking at this right now and even with this being still fresh uh, in my mind so it's like yeah the blue clips are me the pink clips are ross the orange clips are relier and the yellow clips i think for me it was just like other and so yeah here we had some like pigeons just flying around in unison and the green clips to me were just like all of us hanging out together, which like, yeah, I mean, if you watch, sorry, that was very flattering. <laughs> so color coding the clips themselves was really helpful. And then, yeah, I mean, basically, I just slapped things on where I thought was good on the timeline, really just felt it out. Um, went with a lot of like my favorite shots that fit the song. And I think that was the thing that took the most time, really. And then at the end of it, threw on um, some grain. And then what else is going on here? I think I, I threw on different kinds of grain. Um, let me just double check what this is. Did I really stack the grain? Oh, these are uh, film burn transitions that I just threw on here and there. Um, for some of the clips, so I think I mentioned before, like, for the clips for Ross, like here's a good example. We shot it in vertical. Um, luckily, we shot it in 4K. 
And I think the timeline resolution is in 1080p. So what I did was I zoomed in on a lot of that footage. Like if we, if we go to any of the Ross ones and you'll, you'll see it's like, yeah, I got some empty space here. So I threw on this viewfinder um, little template thing and that helped this give us like a cool little look, which, you know, even just looking at this right now, like I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, uh, those are a lot of the things that I did in terms of editing the lyric video. And if we look at the part that I needed like the most research and help on was this part, because again, this isn't stuff that I typically do as far as uh, video editing goes. Where's the timeline? There's a timeline. So if we go in here, um, one thing that I learned is, so we've got a bunch of stuff here right now that aren't necessarily stuff that I need color grading on. Like this is the subtitles. Um, this is that viewfinder. And then here's the actual clip. Um, I found this in some other video, but it's like you just turn them off in the timeline. And then I'm turning off all the grain and everything. And then you're left with like the actual clips that you're color grading. So using this first clip as an example, just going over um, some of the things that I did to land on the, the final look that I landed on. Um, I watched Casey Ferris's color grading tutorial. And the first thing I did is, so we used two different cameras when shooting this. We used a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and then we used a Sony a7 IV. So the first thing I did was go through and group together each of the different cameras. And I applied a color space transform, which is here in the effects here, where um, I did like the color correction. So this is me like learning color grading for the first time. This is all like new to me. And this is done on like the, the group level. And I did the same thing for all the um, A7 IV shots, where this has its own, um, color correction going on. And then for each clip, I went through and individually did a um, clip color grading, again, using stuff that I learned from uh, Casey Ferris's video. Let me see if I could. So here's like the node graph. I don't think I ended up using these for anything. So if we go here, if we just look at the changes of what happened. So yeah, these got unused. They didn't really do anything. So the first thing was setting the exposure. I think I turned it down. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me actually pull up the color wheel so you can see. Increase the contrast a little bit. Added some mild saturation. And then yeah, like for me, like I was just happy with how that looked. I wasn't really going off of anything technical. Um, eventually I will, but right now I really just wanted to get this thing finished and out there just because that's kind of the, the phase that I'm in in life is just make things, learn as you go, instead of getting hung up and just trying to have everything perfect and then release it. That's just a great way to just like slow yourself down. And I've done enough of that to where now I'm just like, let's just get stuff out there. And yeah, so it's like I went through, and once I was happy with how this looked, let me turn this back on. Um, <clears throat> I applied the same settings on all like the similar shots and just like tweak things here and there to get it looking um, how I thought it should look. One thing that was really useful was um, this whole gallery section where once I got something color graded in a way that I thought looked nice, I used wherever the heck it is. Yeah, this whole thing where it's like you can kind of switch between, let me pick another. So here's like another shot. And it's like me just making sure that like I look the same in each of these clips or similar, which I can kind of say is what's going on. One thing that was really difficult when we were shooting this was, as you can tell, um, there's an overcast here. And yeah, the we were also, I guess, battling with the clock and the, yeah, we we're losing light essentially. So it's like at some point, like, you know, the, the shots resembled blue hour a lot more. And I had to kind of tweak the color for each of these shots to account for that like out of the camera straight up like if we go to um yeah if we go to this clip of ross it's like if i turn off 
all these uh, things that I did, you'll see how blue this clip actually was. And yeah, so if we turn these things back on, turn off each of these things. So it's like, yeah, that's how the clip looked after applying color correction on it. And so I made a number of tweaks. The biggest one here was just moving this uh, offset little dot over here towards like the, the warmer colors to warm the shot up a little bit again before and after. And then, yeah, just applying like the rest of like the color grading tweaks that I thought the shot needed. And yeah, that, that was, I mean, I try to generally get like a consistent look across the whole thing. But yeah, so that's pretty much how I went about color grading this entire thing. And then the very last thing was going in and then adding texture that I thought the clips could have used. So this thing right here is adding uh, these little specks. You could see one right here. And just making it actually look a little vintage. And then yeah, bam, the subtitles. And all in all, I mean, I got it to a place where I was pretty happy with it. And now I feel like having gone through the workflow, having done it, one, it's a lot of work. And that's just something for future me to know and account for as I make more songs and think about visuals or whatever I'm going to be making. It's like, yeah, like you really got to allocate the time to get this stuff done. But I'm glad that I did because now I've got a, you know, just something else on my catalog, something else on my resume for um, some more music, which is always great. And yeah, that's basically how I went about making this lyric video. And like I was mentioning, I'm learning a lot of this stuff for the first time. So if anyone else has any tips on how to improve any of these things that I was doing, whether it's with the color grading or with the editing or just any of it, you know, I'm, I'm all ears because the goal is to just make better and better stuff. And hopefully, you know, me making this breakdown can just add something out there to, to help other people make better stuff on their own. That's, that's the hope, at least. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.